Yes. What can you see? Go to it. It's not I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Is broken. There's no way you can fix it. What do you do now, Sam? A mouth. What is it? What does it see? Get closer. It's dangerous. Don't go near it. Don't go there. Don't go too close. Don't go to the mouth. Where are we? What is this? It's the same. Different. It's another world. It's lighter. It's nicer. I like it here. Can we stay? Let's stay here. I like the way it feels. It's safe here. It's calm here. It's light here. It's nice. The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. What happened? The bridge is fixed. Let's cross it. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. He loves you. calling you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. Dillian, we're nearly here. We're coming to He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark world. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. Senna explored new paths into the unknown. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. 
the gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hood is slain. Look what happens to the things you love. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief, and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. He led you astray. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past, and Dillion, her future. Two realities Wasting your time preparing no time for herself. These rooms mean this. Was it worth it? It's yours to the lives of Dillion's death. Trials to distract you. Does that really set you up? And now they're going to watch you. What if these trials mean nothing? Laughing at you. What if they take you no closer to Dillian? That was Dillian, and you're letting this get in the way. 
way what if they are just to tire you out, to make you weak you. before the battle? Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. He's the reason she's alive at all. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. What if this is pointless? What are you doing? Seeing runes, you see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? You the gods were lying. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. It makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense in my world. But it doesn't mean anything. You can't read this language. You don't understand. Zinbel was right. You're wasting time. You're cursed. Never succeed. Slow, slow, quicker. Dillian! It's not safe. You're going to fall. Dillian never much cared for the underworld. You're going to fall. And looked dimly yeah, upon the druids, like her father, Zinbel. You can do it, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father. 
chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Go to him. Go to him. That's it. Quicker. 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 Very careful. You've come this far, don't let him slip away. It's a narrow, narrow bridge. Go to him. And there's a long way to fall. No! 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 He's gone. It's your fault. He's disappeared. You've lost him to the sea. He's gone. You've lost him to the water. He's gone to the water. He's drowned. Cinema. Your father cannot understand your darkness. I cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. It's done. You did it. But there's more. Going. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. There's always more to do. It's not going to be easy. 